5.13 Whither they learn to be idle, withering about from house to house, not only idle, but cutters also and busy bodies, speaking things which they ought not. Tell your neighbor, there are things you ought not to speak. Kuna mambo hautakiwi kuongea kama wewe umeokoka. Hallelujah. Na ni wanasema kuna mambo hautakiwi waongee, waongee. Kinywa chako kina nguvu sana. Kinywa chako kina mamlaka sana. Na kinywa chako akitakiwi kuchafuliwa na mambo mengine. Hallelujah. This goes with our thinking. Our mouth cannot produce fresh water and at the same time produce salt water. Hallelujah. We cannot have such a liver. That's what the Bible says. So by our tongues, we can move mountains. Hallelujah. There are stars in our way. Or we can allow them hinder us. Hallelujah. Whatever is in your way, whatever I've been standing, kile kime inuriwa kukuzuiria, uko na nguvu ya kukiondoa. And that power is in your tongue and your heart. Hallelujah. You can allow to subdue you. You can allow to bring you down. You can have an attitude in your in your in your in your mind. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen somebody when you say something, they only interpret it wrongly? Even if you never meant wrong, but their minds, if they are wrong, they'll interpret it wrong and be offended. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bible is saying we can move our mountains that stand before our way of to success. We can remove our mountains that stand our way of holiness. We can remove the mountains that try to stand in our way of increase. We can remove them. And the Bible says in Mark 11, 23, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, you shall say to it, Hallelujah, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. It is time not to complain about mountains. It is time not to complain about the things that hinder us. Mabuyada na tuzuiria. Si wakati wakupiga makerere. Ni wakati wakuyongeresha. Hallelujah. Speak to the things. Zina kuzuiria. Don't complain about them. Complaining does not remove your mountain. Tell your neighbor. Complaining does not remove your mountain. In fact, it makes your mountain bigger. And it becomes until in your mind you see you cannot cross through. Hallelujah. But you can choose to believe what God is saying. And say, I believe. And then you speak to it. And uri ongeresha. Na uamini dani ya mwako. Nime kuongeresha uondoke. Na nime amini umeondoke. Na sita asa kweka shaka dani ya mwako wangu. Rita ondolewa. Because God is for me. Who can be against me. Hallelujah. The more you think and speak and believe the right things, the more increase and fruitfulness your life is. The more you think, tell your neighbor the more you think, and speak and believe the right things, the more the increase and fruitfulness of your life. How? Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brethren, as I finish, as I'm finishing, finally, brethren, hallelujah, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think of these things. Hallelujah. Why did God say through Paul, Fikriya Mambo Haya, Mambo Ya Haki, Mambo Boni, Mambo Clean, Pure, Mambo Ambayo, Hallelujah, Niana Yana Pendeza. Mambo ya bawi kona ripoti nzuri. Wacha kufikiria mambo ya ripoti mbaya. Wacha kufikiria mambo ya bawi na kuzunisha. Wacha kufikiria mambo ya bawi siya haki. Kwa sababu gani? When you think these things, you begin to speak the same things. Hallelujah. When you begin to think that which is just, you begin to speak it. When you begin to think that which is lovely, you begin to, think, to speak it. When you begin to think that which is a good report, you begin to speak it. And you start seeing the result. Hallelujah. The increase of your words. You begin to see the fruits. It may not happen. Leo. Leo tu inafanyika. It may not. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, those who love it shall love the increase thereof. Hallelujah. You begin to speak it. After you are nini, you tell your mind, I'm not changing my mind. I'm not changing what I'm thinking. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak it and speak it until I see the fruit of it. Hallelujah. Begin to speak to our children the same things. Begin. That's why sometimes 
we teach the same things over and over. God wants you to hear it over and over. Hallelujah. In the world, people usually say, Duniani watu wanasema, let me give you a piece of my mind. Sendi watu wanasema anga? Eh, hello? Wacha ni kuambia kina, let me give you a piece of my, my mind. Hallelujah. And I speak it out. Hallelujah. But God is saying, we should think of that which is just. We should think of that which is lovely. We should think of that which is of good report. Let that be our peace of mind. Hallelujah. We must set aside as I finish to pray. We must set aside a time to read. A time to meditate the word of God. We must set aside a time to listen to messages of preaching. How many people go back and get this preaching and they listen to it? Hallelujah. The more you listen, the more you change your mind. The more you read the word, the more you change your mind. The more you meditate, the more you remove former things. Former things that happen to us. Former things that form part of our history. And we begin to have a renewed mind. As you continue washing your mind with the word. Hallelujah. Hey, washing, cleansing, getting a new thinking, getting a new life. Listen to preaching. Listen to the word. Listen to the right music. Hallelujah. Are you here, the young people? You cannot only be thinking about love and music of love and you tell me you will be able to withstand. Hallelujah. Think. Fikiria unasikiriza music gani? And worship the Lord our God. Amen? Amen. Let me finish there as we pray. Let's stand up and pray. Hallelujah.